hello colors welcome back to viva bassa and welcome to another interesting episode where we're going to discuss on some interesting updates we begin with robert lewandowski as bassa are reportedly prioritizing contract extension of the 30 million euro rated striker we are going to discuss on that as we progress Secondly, talking about this other transfer report, claiming that Saudi league players offer themselves to Barcelona, high salaries are an obstacle. Who are those players? We are also going to discuss on that. So as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end it's no secret that barcelona's sporting director deco is working extremely hard on achieving certain financial targets and for that a few players have already been approached by the team as part of the contract extension scheme as such these extensions are not really pursued in order to retain the top players but are in fact done and to reduce the wages of the player or the top earners so that the team can have a bit of a free hand to operate during the January transfer window. Adding to that, if a report from Sport is to be believed, veteran forward Robert Lewandowski happens to be on Deco's agenda and considering that his deal expires in a year and a half, that is to 2026, the team wants to, you know, open talks with the player. Over the past few months, there has been a complex and a delicate balancing act, but the margin of maneuvering is quite limited, making the situation challenging, especially given that the number of players Barcelona are working with over contract extensions is pretty big. At this moment, sporting director Deco's priority is to redirect certain contracts that are poised to become unmanageable come June, as this issue could have a direct impact on the recruitment and development of new players. Right now, Lewandowski happens to be one of the many players Barcelona are looking to strike an agreement with, but Sport mentions that it is extremely complicated at the moment. So let's talk about the fact that Lewandowski is a big part of the project. Lewy situation is very, very unique. His contract features a progressive release increase, for starters. And the upcoming season promises to be his most financially rewarding as he will be entering the final year of his deal. Now, Barcelona faced the imperative task of engaging in discussions with him during the summer to determine their course of action with the resolute aim of preventing him from leaving on a free transfer. Lewandowski loves Barcelona and it must be noted that he made a significant effort to join the club last June. Now, it seems plausible that a one-year contract extension could be on the table for consideration, but the ultimate decision will rest the, with the player himself given that the lure of Saudi or of players or of playing in Saudi Arabia is there as well. Of course, in the past couple of days, we have been getting a lot of reports about Deco trying to, you know, retain some players for the long term. Robert Lewandowski is one of those players according to this new report. Of course, he has been an important player as quite expected when he joined last year. And Barcelona want to, you know, ensure that he stays for a long time. But it's not going to be straightforward as we expect, right? It's true, we are prioritizing his contract extension, all because Deco wants that. 
Of course, he has been an important part of the team. Of course, his experience, his leadership in the dressing room is second to none. You know, because earlier today, we also got some reports talking about players like Araujo, Gavi, Pedri, Frankie de Jong, some of those players that um, new sporting director Deco is also working in the background so hard to ensure that their contracts are being renewed. And now Lewandowski is also added to the list. Of course, Lewandowski's contract expires in 2026. Of course, his contract was a little bit complicated. Next season, Lewandowski will earn more. Of course, he will enjoy a lot of financial, you know, additions, financial um, privileges in his contract as per the clause. Barcelona are happy so far with the way Lewandowski have merged into the Barca team. We quite remember last summer when Bayern Munich were resisting uncountable number of times that Lewa is not for sale. But just the fact that Lewa loves to play for Barca and it has always been his dream as he himself he admitted he was the one who pushed and helped for that move to materialize. So let's just see how far it goes in terms of, you know, his stay at Barca and if actually Deco can succeed in that. Then moving on to the final story of discussion. <clears throat> Over the summer... The main talking point in football was the emergence of Saudi Arabian League. It started with the recruitment of Cristiano Ronaldo from Manchester United on a free, which was followed by several other huge names initially. However, it was mostly players well past the price looking to end their career on a financial high. Karim Benzema, Angolo Kante, Edward Mendy, Gini Wijnaldum, Sadio Mane, Riyad Mahrez, Jordan Henderson and others just to name a few. However, the Saudi Pro League then moved to poaching young players who were interested in making the back early in their careers. Several exciting talents touted for big club transfers like Jota, Gabriel Vega, Ruben Neves and Malcolm also shifted allegiances. As per report by Sport though, not all of these players have adapted well to their home and have been offered to Barca. A few of these players have found it difficult to adapt to Saudi Arabia, maybe due to the weather or due to the unpayable salaries that they have been offered, or simply due to the level of football. Barca are attentive to the situation of these players as they believe there will be movements in the coming windows. They believe that these stars will be looking to come back to Europe, and the report states that they are also looking to forego their high salaries. A lot of these Saudi clubs are also willing to pay most part of the salaries to let them go on loans as players have not been performing at expected levels. So guys, as we, thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, ensure to subscribe so you always stay up to date. Until next time, bye-bye.